Hello team. Okay, so one of the most important things, probably the most important thing that any of us can do is track our caloric intake. It is so important. Anytime you want to change, either lose weight, gain weight, change your body mass from fat to muscle, you have to track what you eat, at least for a while. Uh, you can get to a place where you get pretty comfortable and kind of understand what your body needs, but that is not on day one. One of the easiest and best and free tools out there is MyFitnessPal. So I wanted to show you today what MyFitnessPal has to offer, uh, how you get set up on it, how easy it is. The great thing is that it's a web-based app as well as they have iPhone and Android apps. So, and the apps are really great. It has an extremely deep database of food. It's actually um, user generated. So there is a lot of food out there. Uh, supplements you take from Beachbody are all in there. Um, it has a barcode scanner app um, in, in, or I'm sorry, it has a barcode scanner in the, in the phone app. So if you're eating something and it has a barcode, you can scan it in and see if it's in there. Most of the time it is. And then if, food isn't in there, you can enter it in manually, but I would say 99, if not more percent of the time, I'm able to find uh, foods in there. And because users generate the database, it's it's really grown into just the best food database I've seen on the, on the internet. So here's how we get started. So you're gonna log into MyFitnessPal. I would suggest doing it first over the web. It's just easier to do it in your computer to get set up. So you're gonna get set up and you're gonna go to, uh, you're gonna see this, now this is mine, okay? Um, you may be going, oh my gosh, my 4,000 calories. Well, at this current point in time, I'm trying to gain weight uh, on Body Beast. There's my picture with Sagi uh, to inspire me to eat a lot during the day. I know it is an opposite problem of a lot of people, but um, this is where I'm at right now. So you're gonna first go up to goals here and when you click on goals, you're gonna see this. This is where you want to say change goals down here and you wanna to go to custom. Now, in here, you can put in whatever um, Beachbody program you have, what they want you to do. Uh, so for example, on Body Beast right now, I am 50% carbohydrates, 25% protein, 25% fat. Those are your three main macronutrients. Um, and I'm running a calorie surplus at 4,000. Now, most people are gonna be trying to lose weight. So let me give an example of like Fat Shredder for P90X. Say you're doing 2,000 calories and Fat Shredder is 30% um, carbohydrates, 50% protein, and 20% fat. So you'll just put those in there like that. You can add other things here. This is all kind of, um, you know, filled out for you in terms of, um, you know, I assume this is based off of the uh, the FDA um, daily values. Yeah, so you can see the percentages here. 2,500 milligrams of sodium, that's something that is always important to watch uh, as well. So I usually track that as well because that can get away from us. So, uh, and then you just click change goals. I'm not gonna change mine though. So then once you do that, you're all set up. Um, then you're gonna go over and the main place that you're gonna be here is food. So here is, uh, it's Thursday, August 23rd, 2010. So I haven't recorded anything today, but the good news is that as you start entering things, you can copy whole meals from your previous day. So I eat a lot of the same things every day. <laughs> And so this becomes pretty easy to start entering in my, my calories. Once I create a base diet, you know, I kind of riff off that a little bit, but uh, ultimately I try and, and stick to it for most of the meals of the day. So for example here, pre and post workout, well, I have the same thing every day. So I can just say here, um, copy yesterday. So there you go. And yes, I have a lot for my pre and post workout um, given my calories that I'm trying to take in. And then for breakfast, I'm going to do copy yesterday as well. Although today we ran out of blueberries, so you can just delete that. 
we ran out of raspberries, delete that. And I actually upped from a half a cup to three-fourths of a cup. So I was just able to show you a couple of different things in terms of deleting things and changing the values here. Here's another one that typically I have uh, similar things every day. Now let's say for lunch, actually let me delete this. Let's say for lunch, you want to add some things. So let me show you how to add. You go to add food. This is all my most used food. Um, this is recent food. Uh, my food, you can actually create your own meals in here. Uh, a little bit more advanced. So if you eat the same same thing every day, for the same meal that has the same 10 ingredients, you can create you know, kind of a, a custom thing in the database, essentially. But let's say I ate a Brayburn apple. Click on that. There's Brayburn apples. You can see there are a lot of things that with Brayburn apples. Tesco over in the UK, uh, Sainsbury over in the UK, um, and then generic Asda, Germany, or that's in the UK too. A lot of people in the UK. So. Um, Typically what I do is I look and, and you know here's one that's medium, one serving, and then you just say add to which meal, I'm going to add it to lunch, and then boom, there you go. And let's say with that, I had some peanut butter that I bought from Costco. Look at that, Kirkland peanut butter. Wow, lots of different stuff. And you'll notice that, that many people put in things numerous times since it's user generated. One of the things that you'll see over here on the side is confirmations. These are people who have confirmed that this is in fact correct. So when you click on nutritional info, you can see it here, see if it matches what your container says, and then it says, is this data accurate? You can click yes, and now the confirmations next time will be up to three. So here's one tablespoon. Let's say you had two add to food diary. Boom, there you go. And at the end of the day, here's your daily goals. They break it down, uh, your carbs, your fat, your protein. And here's your totals of where you are so far. If you want to track your water, which I do recommend at the beginning, you can see this fills up six, seven, eight, nine, overflowing. And then when you're done, you just click complete this entry. And that's really it. That's how it works. That's how you're able to track it every day. When it becomes part of your regimen, it's not as cumbersome. Anything getting started, it takes a little more time, but it's really not that hard. The last thing that I want to say is you can become uh, friends on this. If you go to community and you go to find members, my username is team right now. And then you click a search. Here I am. So if you want to become friends with me, you can do it that way. I think there's a limit of a thousand. I'm nowhere even close, uh, but I know some people have maxed out. So I think it's around a thousand people. Another thing that you can do this is the last thing I'll, I'll talk about in terms of customization and you can play around with it yourself. You can see I've entered in six different meals, uh, you know, pre and post workout, a breakfast, a morning snack, et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually customize these names. It's pretty easy. If you go into food, which I'm in now, and you click on settings, you can see over here the meal names. And you can just put in whatever you want for your six meal names. Also up here, you can list the five things that you want to track on your uh, food homepage. Uh, I highly suggest the three macronutrients. Another one might be sodium and then maybe you want to track, especially earlier on, your fiber intake. Save changes, done. Now when you go back to your food, boom, there they are. Calories, carbs, fat, protein, sodium, and fiber. And then here will be your 
six fields to enter, or if you only have five, then, then five. Hopefully this has been helpful. We'll talk to you soon, team.